Let's see my 10 superlatives tag, meaning most used, least used, most expensive. Are you intrigued? Then stay tuned. My name is Andrea. Welcome to the Babe Cave today. And we are coming to you for a tag video that Julie from Agent Bag Reviews tagged me in. And it's 10 superlatives, meaning uh, I'll go through the list as I go through the bags. <laughs> but thank you, Julie, for tagging me. And I had to really think about some of these because. <laughs> I have so many and I... So many choices. So the first on the list is least used bag. I have the list written down in front of me. My least used bag. So I have a couple, but this one, since I purchased it, it's my Coach Ergo 33, I believe is the name. And it's in this real pretty saddle, and it's a Coach Boutique hobo. It's really big. <laughs> and the leather on it makes me a little nervous. The size of it plus it, the leather, I just haven't gravitated towards it. And I really need to, but it's so big. I wish I got the smaller one. But, uh, yeah, it fits really. It's a good drop. Uh, and you can adjust it. And it's really pretty brass hardware. I even attach a chain kind of to dress it up a little bit like that. And I just don't use it. <laughs> I just don't use it. So anybody out there in the trade land, <laughs> if you want the Coach Ergo, let me know. <laughs> so that's my least used. The next one is most used. Well, that one is really hard because I have so many bags that I switch out through. But then I thought, okay, which one do I gr go back into a lot? So I went with the Walmart bag in the brown checkered print. <laughs> I have been in this bag so much, in and out, in and out, because of how comfortable it is and it, you know, it's under $30 on Walmart. You know, it has the same setup as a Cassie. And I really just enjoy a top handle and the crossbody. It, it's my jam and I keep going into it. So this is my most used Walmart bag. The next category is ladylike bag. So I recently got this bag right here from Autumn Beckman's vlog sale. And it's the inspired bag for another brand. <laughs> but this, I believe, came off of Amazon, you know, years ago, I think, when she got it. And this is my Amazon little horse that I just keep on it because I thought it looks cute. It has really nice glazing up at the top. When I think ladylike, I think of a top handle. So it's really cute. It's a really grayish taupe color. Look at the pebbled leather and it has feet on the bottom. Super ladylike in my opinion. So this is ladylike bag. The next one is most complimented. So recently we went to Aldi and we were checking out and this lady admired my bag and complimented. She really liked it. And then guess what my husband did? Gave her a business card on my YouTube channel. <laughs> and she said her daughter loves purses and they'd probably be watching it together. So if you're out there, hey. <laughs> but she complimented this Dooney and Burke crossbody bucket in the color charcoal. And I can't blame her. It is super pretty. It's, it's very structured, but yet you can carry this with a bunch of stuff in it, or as little as you want in it. Yeah, I see why it's most complimented. It has those beautiful 
DB charms, which can be a little bit noisy. And I added my Coach Star charm that I got for free one time. But yeah, this I got complimented the other day, so this is the one I'm going with. This one is the most viewed on YouTube, and I believe she did my tag. I started a tag with your five most viewed videos on YouTube. And I already know my top viewed one, or most viewed one, is my Michael Kors Medium Lita and the signature print. No feet on the bottom. Here's the closure. I think this is what everyone wants to see is this little, you know, you open the flap and then open it like that. Black interior. I believe they had other options. I'm not sure what they have now. I know I've seen a light pink one that Mono's Beauty has, but they also had like a different color leather here. But I really think the black with this brown and gold went perfect with this bag. So this is my most viewed currently on YouTube. The next category is my most expensive bag and that would be my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM. Everybody and their brother has seen a Neverfull. <laughs> and but this one has the Pivion interior. There's that print in the back has the the stripes in it. And if you know me, I like pink. Yes, those are pink walls. <laughs> so I wanted uh, the Neverfull. And I actually paid less than retail what they are right now. I got this off Fashion File. So if you're ever looking for one of these Neverfulls, you can get them for way under retail. Uh, but this one's in almost excellent condition. I paid around $1,300 for it. I love my little coach bear on it. Isn't that cute? So I kind of just want to leave the <laughs> the coach bear on it since it's nice and big and the tote's big. So this is my most expensive bag. Least expensive bag. That is my Walmart bum bag. <laughs> it's only $17 right now on the website, on Walmart website. <laughs> It resembles obviously the LV bum bag, but with no no LV on this. It's just super cute. I get why people liked the LV bum bag. So I went cheap and went with the the non-branded bum bag because why not? If you if, I I didn't want to spend however much a bum LV bum bag is. If you don't like it but it, it really is good and it has a back zipper pocket it fits I wear it you know kind of crossbody uh, <laughs> you can't really see right now but I, it's very comfortable it's got a thick strap to it I'm guessing this will never patina because it's not machete leather <laughs> but yeah the opening it has the double zippers yeah get you a, a a bum bag from Walmart. <laughs> this is my cheapest, yet I love it. The next category is most structured bag. And this is a recent purchase. It is my Dooney and Burke flap crossbody. And I did change where this located. This was originally located on the strap, which I thought was strange. So I connected it to the actual hole where the strap goes. So now I can have the strap and the hang tag where it's supposed to be, in my opinion. And here's, it's very structured. And the color is blush. I'll just show you quickly inside. It has the two compartments and the zipper. With the, of course, the red interior. See how the glazing is it's very structured, not a lot of give to it, but I really have enjoyed this flap crossbody by Dooney. The next category is most softest or slouchiest bag, and I have a softest and slouchiest bag. <laughs> so my softest would be my 
Coach Pillow Tabby in the, I believe it's called Red Apple. It literally is like a pillow. Yes, it is. <laughs> and it has that nice big hang tag. Look how thick that is. It doesn't fit a whole lot, and I don't bring red out until Christmas, um, so I haven't brought it out this year. <laughs> Here's the interior. It has the it has a short handle that you could carry it this way, um, and I have extenders because this is a little bit short on me. Uh, and then it has a crossbody strap. Not a whole lot of room because it's poofy and soft. So that is the softest would be my Coach Pillow Tabby 26. The slouchiest is probably going to be my Elliot Luca in this gorgeous woven leather with the golds and the silvers and the... It's so pretty. It's a nice big hobo bag comfortable shoulder drop. I've had this for years and it it is still in really good condition. There's the bottom, metallic. If you don't like metallic you don't like this but it is a super nice drop and that says Missouri. <laughs> uh, but yeah it just this is just a puddle. See so this would be my slouchiest bag would be my Elliot Luca. I also have another slouchy, which would be the new Timo bag. I had to bring it out to show you how glittery glory it is. <laughs> These rhinestones just, whenever this isn't stuffed, it becomes a puddle. So it's definitely a slouchy bag. And it's still on Timu if you're interested. The next one, I don't know what my favorite bag is, Julie. <laughs> I have so many and they're all my favorites. So I'm just going to go with my current favorite, which happens to be, yes, the Mint and Surf Morgan. I freaking love this bag. <laughs> the graffiti, the black, the silver hardware. It fits all the things I need. It has the shoulder and the crossbody strap. I bought a silver chain that looks really good dangling off of here. This right here, right now, is my favorite bag currently. I mean, can you blame me? I, pr I paid too much for it because it went on sale, of course, because Coach Outlet does that. <laughs> I thought for sure it would sell out, and so, yeah. I uh, paid a little more than the it dropped to, but still, it's it's my favorite. I'm glad I did it. So that was that's my favorite currently. Okay, this was a fun tag, and I enjoyed seeing what all and thinking about all the ones that were the superlatives on this list. So thank you for the tag, and I'll tag some people down below to do this tag it's it makes you think I mean because a lot of us content creators have so many bags that you're like well which one would be this category <laughs> so thank you again and I'll tag some people and don't forget if you like this kind of content hit the subscribe button it's free and tell me uh, do you have a favorite or do you have do you have a favorite bag <laughs> Because it's really hard choice for me because I have so many pretty bags, right? So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.